Hi y'all and welcome back to I am abled because I am is able. I have a guest with me today. This is Alice and she is okay, what is your title again at this point? Uh so I was a physical therapy aide, but now I got accepted to physical therapy school so that I can become a physical therapist. And she is awesome, and um, I'm so going to miss you. <laughs> I already do miss you. It's so weird without you there. Uh, so I kind of was wanting to ask you what got you involved in physical therapy. Is that okay to answer oh, over you? Yeah, it totally is. It totally is. It's just a bit of a longer um, answer. So I actually started off in architecture and got my degree in architecture, started working in architecture. And I spent maybe 11 to 12 hours in front of a computer, and I, re I just got so depressed, and I thought that architecture was going to fulfill more of a, it was just going to fulfill me a little bit more emotionally, that um, in school they really sold it as, like, you are, you know, going to be involved in the community, you're really going to change things in the community for the better and the reality was a bit more that I was kind of contributing more to gentrification and you know, I was working on the interiors of some of these apartment complexes that I knew in no way I could ever afford so um, it just wasn't fulfilling in any way and then I thought about switching my career I thought, how could, what career am I working with people and actually one on one with people that would actually make a positive difference? And so I decided to go back to school and I volunteered in different settings, like even considered dentistry at one point. And I was like, no one likes going to the dentist. <laughs> no one wants to. Everyone hates the dentist. And you could have um, been the one they liked. <laughs> I, maybe. I don't even think so. I don't know. Um, like, yeah, no, no one likes the dentist. Um, and so then I volunteered at the county hospital in Santa Clara County. Um, and I was in spinal cord injury unit. Wow. Yeah. And that was really, and people from completely different backgrounds, and it was one of the best um, therapy for uh, spinal cord injuries. So it was amazing to see that um, impact that these therapists had. But it was also really cool to see how the patients interacted with each other. I mean, since it was a county hospital, um, people from completely different backgrounds, like either really, really poor to people that even got transferred to from like Stanford Hospital or whatever, they definitely were not poor. They all were in the same place, even with some language barriers, they were just there for each other. So that was really cool to witness as well. Um, and then I thought for sure, like, oh, I definitely want to do something with spinal cord injury. And then uh, I got a job as an aide, which is where I met Katie. Um, yeah, and I actually really enjoyed the outpatient orthopedic setting as well. Um, it was just, I mean, it's so cool to see so many different cases and how people improve or... Uh, it, and just building those relationships, yeah, so I've just really grown to like it. Because you see everything from, like, just a uh, minor sports injury to, yeah. like, pretty intense stuff sometimes, yeah. I presume. Yeah. Um, and I know I'm not on the far end of the spectrum, but I do have a neck injury, and right. so there's a few different things going on with that, so. Yeah. Oh, but neck injuries, that's definitely, that's a really sensitive area. I mean, with in the spinal cord injury unit, anything that was really far up, I mean, they couldn't even breathe on their own, so it's definitely, or even, like, sometimes not being able to, just getting weird feelings in your fingers, not as you were kind of gripping, and yeah, it can just all come from the neck, so. It's, and, and sometimes it surprises you. I never realized how many things, like, even a nerve could, like, affect, like, my muscles even sometimes yeah. are affected from my nerves, so. Oh, 
Totally. Yes. You're going. You got accepted to this program, yes. and so you will be going all the way to a physical therapist yes. position. Yes. And that'll take you how long with this accelerated program? So this accelerated program is about two and a half years, yeah. And then in that time, doctor of physical therapy, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, hopefully I can be half as good as Katie's therapist, oh my gosh, he's the best, and I've definitely learned a lot from him, the best therapist out there. Well. And he's got good people mm. around him, too. Well, good because he's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to give him a lot of credit because he never takes any credit. But, yeah. But he deserves it. Yes. If you're out there listening to this, you deserve it. Mm. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, how long ago did you start this training, then? For, like, when you started with the spinal work? Oh, the spinal cord, yeah, that was, um, so I volunteered there for about a year, and I think it was September 2016 into, that was like a year and a half actually, like, and well into, um, 2017, and I would basically help the patients, um, set them up onto the machines, because sometimes they just didn't have the complete motor control to like get set set themselves up on the machine so I would help them out and yeah and they couldn't always tell what the position was I'm sure because I know I can't always yeah yeah so yeah I can't I can't tell you how many times lately um there's been like okay so just do that muscle perfect and I'm like I don't feel like I did anything different I don't know sure yeah I'll believe you yeah yeah, you just need to keep hard. your hand there and tell me if it's right, because I don't know what that one is. <laughs> yeah, well, it's also, I mean, like, can I, because you don't know if, how, why you did it right, or how is that right, and then you're like, I have to do this again and again, and you're like, am I still doing this right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, I just did a, a video uh, um, about the difference between occupational and physical therapy, as I've seen it since I've been re in recovery. Will you learn some occupational therapy in your physical therapy training, or is it I'm purely like physical, um, like more the broad, the bigger stuff? It might be more of the broad stuff. Um, I think there is some overlap, but um, but I think that it's going to mainly be through the broader stuff. Um, yeah, there just might be a little bit of overlap, but any time it gets really into the minute, like, fine motor functions of occupational therapy, I think that at that point, yeah, people should see an occupational therapist for that. How do you just see an occupational therapist, though? Because, like, I had it sent to me with in-home, and oh, I, okay. if I tried to ask during the time, like, how I would go to uh, like occupational therapy and all I ever got was was physical um, which I'm not complaining about but I always wonder if I needed that how do you find an occupational therapy a therapist mm -hmm. like that's just like a clinic or something for things that are like for hands mm -hmm. but you're able to actually get there and you don't have to do it in home because that's more expensive or does that right. even exist? Um, no there are definitely um, occupational therapy clinics um, I know, I definitely have seen it in the hospital setting, inpatient, again, spinal cord injury unit, um, but in terms of, like, more private practice, I've also seen it that some physical therapy clinics have an occupational therapist there, mm -hmm. um, uh, and I know I actually do have a friend that's going through clinical, um, rotation right now, but it's for... It's pediatrics, and these kids have um, just a range of different, um, either they're cognitively delayed, um, they're on the spectrum, or there's just different, um, yeah, so she has to work with them to get fine motor function, um, or just to function with what they have, like, if they're only able to have your hand in this position, mm -hmm. how do you, what can you achieve with your hand only in this position? It's amazing, you can do quite a lot, 
you just have to know how to do, you just do things differently. Yeah, just function differently. What I've seen is just how are you able to function just doing things like as simple as grabbing a glass. Are you able to do that? How much grip strength do you have? So occupational therapists, because even that alone, you can spend an entire appointment just on working on that. What muscles are you using? What, because um, you think you, you grab the glass, so that's grip strength right there. And then this is kind of like bicep curl going on. There is some rotation going on here. So you really have to think about there's a lot of muscles going on, and some people just don't have the strength or coordination, coordination motor function, like fine motor function. Like, there's just maybe not as much of a connection there. So, all those things that go into it, occupational therapists can adjust those things to people that don't have And even the distance yeah. to the mouth, too. Right. Like, I even noticed that when I first, like, it was sometimes hard to tell my brain like no you're not yet at your mouth right um, yeah so that um proprioception just knowing where you are in space yeah all those things how do y'all okay so the last bit got cut off and i wanted to give you her takeaway for the day instead of a question for you she wanted to give a little piece of perspective so as she was talking about that those patients that lost the use of their hands to even do simple tasks as drinking a glass, which um, I did when I first fell, and many others have lost much more than even I have. And so her piece of advice, perspective, uh, observation today, is to go home and appreciate all that you have available to you today. The use of your hands, the use to feel, uh, in my opinion, even getting dressed each morning, uh, and also appreciate the people in your life that are a gift to you today. So there you go. That was her word of advice for today. And I thank her so much for being part of this video. And I thank you all for watching. God bless, God bless for today.